Prospector Exotic Grenade Launcher from the wonderful folks at Tex Mechanica. We're going to review it in this video. This thing's a lot of fun, guys. And actually, I did not get this from an Exotic Engram. Banshee gave this to me. I did not know that when you rank up Banshee and you turn in all those gunsmith materials, uh, exotics can drop. And he gave this to me uh, about a week ago, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. And of course, an early disclaimer when people say, you're late with this review, Mesa. Everyone else reviewed it. That's fine. I don't use other people's accounts to review weapons. I like to get them myself, put in the time, and decide whether it's worth reviewing or not. And this thing is worth reviewing. It's a lot of fun. You see, folks, a lot of people, they're all complaining about the endgame right now. And I chose to not do a video on that because people are very opinionated about the end game look folks uh, there's still a few exotics I need to grind for but I'm just enjoying the game you know my characters are max power level and I like going in just doing various activities and using different weapons I don't have to use the best thing every single time and is this grenade launcher the best grenade launcher no but for me Definitely the most fun. Now, when you look at the perks on this thing, the main exotic perk is kind of counterintuitive to the other perks. So, the main exotic perk is Excavation. Hold R2 to fire grenades, release to detonate all live grenades simultaneously. However, the other main perk is that it is full auto. Now, for me, that's the most fun part. Here's another grenade launcher that I was using for the most part, the Orthrus. Now, nothing really special about it, just had a big blast radius, much slower fire rate, but man, w once you use this thing and you're laying into a boss or a yellow bar and you're just spamming them with grenades because it's full auto, the thing's a lot of fun and it does put in some work. You know, the blast radius is not big on this thing, but this thing does do some pretty good damage. Uh, it's good for clearing out ads if, if you can actually hit them, remember. Some grenade launchers, or at least this one for sure, does bounce off things. I don't know about you guys, but I never ever aim down sight. I'm always gonna hip fire. I'm gonna show you this quick clip here, watch. I'm gonna land to this guy here. One of my shots is gonna miss, go right around him, blow up next to him, but it didn't cause any damage. So yeah, the blast radius is pretty small, but when you do hit your target, it does some considerable damage. Now this thing does hold a lot of ammo. So you've got eight in a magazine, and when you're maxed out on power ammo, you got 17 grenades. So here I'm firing off everything in the magazine, and I'm gonna release my finger, and you're gonna see them all blow up at the same time. Now, if this thing only had, man, if this thing only had sticky grenades, that would make the excavation perk that much more awesome. Well, it's not really awesome right now, but you know what I'm talking about. If you could fire off all eight and it would stick to something, maybe stick to a boss, maybe stick to a yellow bar, stick to anything, stick to a wall. I mean, imagine the fun you could have with this thing in PvP if it stuck to things, right? You know, a bunch of guardians are coming around the corner, you fire a bunch of shots at the walls, it sticks. As soon as they walk through, release the trigger finger and it blows up on them. But unfortunately, doesn't have it. But when it comes to grenade launchers, yeah, this is the only one I'm using right now. I'm not using any of my other legendary ones. And for the most part, I'm not using exotics from my uh, kinetic, I was about to say primary, from my kinetic or from my energy slots. I'm pretty much using legendary, so it leaves it open for my uh, power, or I could either use merciless, but even merciless, I'm getting exhausted using that. You know what? I really, I don't know. I'm having a good time mixing and matching things, and I feel like in, way more in Destiny 2, I'm not compelled that I gotta use the same loadout for every PvE activity. I mean, yeah, certain parts of the raid, I'm always, well, even in, you know what, the raid, look, for the dogs, right? For dogs, I could either use a sword, I could use Hawthorns, I could use Merciless, I might even use this thing. No, actually, I probably won't. <laughs> My grenades will end up bouncing off the walls, but you know what I'm talking about. Now, watch when I lay into this boss here. You're gonna see on the last shot there, he gets staggered. So, this thing does have a little bit of a staggering effect. I was using it in a number of strikes. You wanna make sure when you get to the final boss that you have all 17 grenades to use on the boss. Now, in PvP, I mean, you can occasionally have some fun, like that double I got right there, but that was just pure luck. For the most part, Man, it is, or at least I found, it was pretty tough to hit people. I mean, it, your shots will bounce off everything. That guy I just got because he was rushing me. But let me show you this quick clip here. This guy's gonna waste me. Now, when I land my shot on him, the explosion only did 117 in terms of damage. But then again, that was not a direct hit. That was just the splash damage because it blew up right next to him. But for the most part, for PvP, didn't have a good time because when you get, when you pick up power ammo, you only get four grenades. I feel like something that shoots this fast kind of like Hawthorns, you're going to burn through ammo really, really quickly. But for the most part, for PvE, this thing's a lot of fun. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think if you have this thing. And if not, when it comes to grenade launchers, just what's your thoughts on them? That's it, guys. Do me a favor. Drop a like on this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter, at MesaShawn. Check out my stream. Usually, no always on YouTube. And that's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir.